OK, thank you very much, chaps. Let's have a quick look at Sunday, where the meetings take place at. We've got Gorham Park and Limerick, and there's some decent stuff going on at Salisbury, plus they're racing up at Thursk. So, some decent stuff there. And Rob, you sounded the keenest before the show when I said, uh, who, who likes anything on Sunday? So you lead on. Yeah, there's a couple of races at Goran. Obviously, it's flat racing at Limerick and Goran, but there was two races at Goran which stood out. There's a, a conditions race at 3.35 where you've got Craig's Pipes, who was one of the, the top fillies in Ireland last season. She makes her, her reappearance. I think Turret rocks down towards the bottom for Jim Bulger and Kevin Manning. She was well fancy for the Guineas last year. Now she, she didn't really hit the heights, but I think the fact that they're keeping her in training, they think she might have um, big days ahead of her. So Turret rocks in the 3.35. She'll be a price as well. And in the race after that, the 4.05, We've just got five going to post. Taj Mahal's Glen Eagles is for a full brother. He was very disappointed last season, but um, I think we should we could see a, a different horse this time around. So Taj Mahal in the 405 for Aidan and Shamey could be the answer. And that 405 is called the Garam Park Festival of Speed race. Is there a, is there a festival of speed at Garam Park? Like they have a good one. I've not heard of that one. No, I've never heard of that one either. Not heard of that one either. Okay, fair enough. G. Rod, what's your Sunday banker? Yeah, I'm very excited about Sunday at Salisbury because there's a horse that um, one of my friends has got a share in, uh, Adamant for Highclere, runs in the 3.30 at Salisbury. I know they've got very Well, you've got a friend hopes. who can afford to have a share in, an a in a Highclere syndicate. <laughs> I do, yeah. Wow. Yes, yeah, indeed. And uh, I, I, when I spoke to him, well, actually the last time I saw him was at Did Cheltenham Festival. Is John Gosden's cousin or something ridiculous? <laughs> you know that? Really? Yeah, they're true, yeah. No yeah, way. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I didn't realise you were blue bloody. <laughs> No, I wish. Um, no, yeah, at the, at the last time I saw him at the Cheltenham Festival, he, he pointed me towards this horse adamant that he's got with Sir Michael Stout. He said, we, we've got really high hopes for it. We're hoping it's going to turn into a, a Royal Ascot horse. So I'm really excited to see that run in the 3.30. So you put away all your mates now and just ruin the price for me. Yeah, well done. Yeah. <laughs> and Ryan Moore rides as well. So well, good. exactly. There won't be any, any big prices knocking around yeah. about that anyway. Um, and then in the 4.30, yeah. we've got um, a good bet there called the Tartan Spartan. Big gangly type, uh, didn't handle the track at all at Musselburgh last time out, really sharp track, was under pressure all the way round, but when they hit the straight, it was finishing really well on the inside and then ran into all sorts of trouble. Once it, once it got out again, finished into third. This track will be ideal for him, stiff stiff uphill finish at Salisbury, you'll love it. The Tartan Spartan in the 430 should win that. Okay, good stuff. Have you been to Salisbury Four Kills? No, never. Nice, no, 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 really I like, nice. I would yeah, like to go. Well I, do, I do like watching racing there. They have excellent yeah. racing. It's a very, very nice place indeed. And if anyone's uh, watching or listening and they've got uh, time on their hands on Sunday and they live near Salisbury, I can thoroughly recommend it. It's yeah. a very, very nice course. So you've, while well, the lads have been going on about yeah, it, you've had yeah. a chance to prod away frantically. Yeah, exactly. Well, 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 no, there's a, there's a horse of Eve Johnson Norton's I've I, I've been back and back in and back in, and I can't believe he's only ever won one race in his life. And he runs in that 4:30 called Plymouth Sound. Now he won first time out as a two-year-old, and then as a three-year-old he was second in the Easter Cup of Sandown, which is which is being won on the day. Uh, sorry, third third in that. Last year he only finished about eighth on his uh, on his um, reappearance, but he ran into a wall of trouble uh, at Windsor. And I think he does go well fresh, and I think he's well handicapped if he wants to put his. Uh, Best foot forward. Um, he's got a little bit of a doubt about the trip because it's his debut at the trip, but I'd be quite interested in him because it'd be a price. OK, weekend plans. Rob, are you down to Punchestown at all? Yeah, gone today. I was there yesterday with uh, with Frank the Tank. So I'm going with oh, the Frank's back, is he? He is, yeah. He's only back, so we had a good day yesterday. He did the driving and um, he gave us a few winners as well, so we had a good day yesterday. Has so, he got uh, a nice yeah. sun, Tim? He does, yeah. He was, uh, he was talking about Dubai for the whole afternoon, so... Um, we could see him out there sooner rather than later. But um, no, it was a good day. It was a good crowd. Um, today's the big day for, for all the, the locals. So it's a really good card. So look forward to that. And then um, I'm back in the office tomorrow and Sunday. Lovely stuff. Have a good weekend. G-Rod, what about you? What are the plans? I'll work on Saturday, but of course it's all about the big fight, isn't it? On uh, Saturday night. Oh, I can't wait for that. The, the Joshua and Klitschko fight. I'll be having a, a bit of a... a do round my my house to you watch that. You need to that. book it early. Do you know how much it is this time? It's about thirty quid or something. Twenty quid, yeah. or if you leave it until after Friday, it's twenty five quid. Is it really? Yeah. No, I'm already in on that one. Yeah. So I looking am. forward to that. And then uh, what's your tip? Uh, well, I, I, it's a fascinating fight. I, I expect Joshua to win, but I wouldn't be putting any money on it. That's for sure. Okay. Fair enough. 
Talk Sunday. more about the boxing. It did well in the race. <laughs> I thought Klitsch gave a massive price myself. Okay. <laughs> well, he likes an old one, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so at Sunday, I, I really want to go to Salisbury, but it it does depend on whether I can convince the missus because I've been going to the races so much recently on my own that I just don't think she's going to let me go again on my own. I'm going to have to take the family. So well, we'll, that's we'll not see. a bad thing, is it? No, it's not, but it is a long drive with two with two young you're kids. you're east, aren't you? Yeah, and, and I'm well east up near Newmarket Way. Yeah, yeah so. that is a fair old way, isn't it? OK, well, good luck with the weekend. Kills, what about you? So you're going to Sandown tomorrow? Yeah, going to Sandown tomorrow. Uh, Will the, you bat on after uh, the races? I or don't, go back home I and don't know. Casualty? I don't know. The owners of Doing Fine have actually invited me to their box for a drink before the race, which oh, is nice. That's nice. Yeah, because they're, 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 they're all pumped up for it after Brilliant. tipping it in the weekend. Oh, so, so they're ready in the weekend or in yeah, contact with yeah, you, did they? Yeah, so, uh, so that, that, that would be nice. Um, I'll Try not to outstay my welcome. Drink too much. Excellent. Um, after that, don't really know because I've been out a bit too much lately. Oh really? Kirsty's yeah. getting the ump. She's she? getting the ump. Yeah. Oh blimey! And what about Sunday then? You could be putting shelves up. On Sunday. <coughs> National Trust property. Sunday, oh, I think is a bit of a family day. I think we've got my mum, her dad, that sort of thing. Bit of lunch. Sorry, that stopped a bit, <coughs> a bit too soon for me there. OK, that's Paul, right. well, listen, that's, that all sounds good. Have a nice weekend. Good luck to everybody with your weekend bets. Join us on Monday when young gun Maddie Playle will be hosting the postcard. She's got Nick Watts and Tom Siegel passing on the uh, wisdom. They'll be looking back at the weekend and also looking ahead to some decent stuff in midweek, which includes a great card at Ascot on Wednesday featuring the Cigaro Stakes. They'll also have a look at the Guineas. So join us on Monday. Thank you. Paddy Power stream all UK and Irish racing live on your mobile, tablet or PC. Unlike some other high street bookies, Paddy Power, you beauty!